it's Brittany and today I'm going to show you guys how I create the grid for my Instagram using Photoshop. So the first thing you want to do is create a new file and you want your file to be 300, I mean 3000, sorry. You want your file to be 3000 pixels wide. Um, you want this because you want each individual picture in your columns to be at least 1,000 by 1,000 pixels big. Um, this just ensures you have like the best image quality that you can get. So um, you'll have your width at 3,000 and then how many rows you, um, you want to have will determine how much height you want it to be. So if you want just one row, then you will go 3,000 by 1,000. If you want to go two rows, you will be 3,000 by 2,000 and so on. So today we're going to create a document that is 3,000 pixels by 3,000 pixels. We're going to do three rows of three columns. So now that we have this open, the first thing you want to do is go over to view and then create a new guide layout. Once you have this open, um, you see my last grid was created at three columns by two rows. Today, our document is three columns by three rows. So we're gonna go ahead and change the rows to three, and then that will change our guide to perfect squares. They were rectangular at first, and that will not work for Instagram. So we're gonna go ahead and click OK. And then we have our guides. This is also gonna be important later because um, you're gonna use those guides to create slices. So the next thing we're going to do is go and put an image in here. Or if you don't want to add an image, you can go ahead and start designing right on top of this. Um, if you want to hide your guides so that you can design without seeing them, um, just hit um, command and then the semicolon button, and then it'll disappear. Um, what's command on Windows? Option around. Control. I think control. Control and then a semicolon button <laughs> will hide it. I've been using a Mac for a long time. So, um, but we're going to bring those back. I like to see them. And to bring it back, you just press the same buttons, command, and then the semicolon. So the next thing we're going to do for this one is going to bring an image in. So I'm going to go to open and, um, go, let's pick something out of my designs folder. Um, I'll just pick this picture of myself. Why not? So you have this picture of me open and I'm going to drag this, oh shit, I'm going to drag this over to our document, oh shit, oh shoot, I mean, I mean, oh crap, <laughs> and we're going to grab our image and bring it in and then um, resize it um, to fit into our grid. Now, it's not necessary for you to um, resize your image. You could um, put a small image in here and leave some space around it, and that would look cool too. Um, you could have white around your grid, or um, you could even bring it off to the side and put some other stuff over here, or layer some images and overlap them. There's a bunch of different things you could do. Whatever you do in this space will show up on your grid. So that's um, something to think about and something you could play with later. But for right now, we're going to fill this entire space up with my big ass head. So we're going to slide it up a little bit. Mm, I'm thinking that looks pretty good. And then we're going to commit to this resizing and moving. Um, I'm going to flatten this image. So go layer, flatten image. And then we're just about ready to go ahead and save this. So what you're going to go and do first, though, is go to your crop tool. And inside of the crop tool, if you hold it, there's... A perspective crop tool, a slice tool, and slice select tool. You're going to pick the slice tool. Click on that, and then at the top, there's going to be a button that says slices from guides. 
So what this does is it slices your image where you place guides. So since we made our perfect little grid, when we click slices from guides, it's going to turn all of those into their own little pictures. So let's click slices from guides. And now you know it's there because they have all these little blue numbers. These are all their own pictures. So now you can go ahead and save it. So we're going to go file and we're not going to click save or save as or save as copy. We're going to export it. If you save it as any of these, it's just going to be one regular individual picture. We don't want that. We want nine little pictures. So we're going to go export, save for web. You don't need to change anything here. You'll just go down to save. And then we're going to save this to our desktop. Um, we'll create a new folder for it. And let's call it IG Grid and create. And then we're going to name it. So let's just say Brit since it's me. And then we're going to go ahead and click save. Now we're done. So we're going to go ahead and minimize this. And go to our desktop and here is our folder we just created we're going to click on that and open it and here is our images and as you can see it sliced everything into small little pictures now the numbers um, the pictures are numbered from 1 to 9 but when you post these you want to post them from 9 to 1 this is because you want the bottom of the image to be at the bottom of the image and if you were to post the first picture first on Instagram then it's going to look crazy so you will post um, 9 and then 8, 7, 6 and then so on and then that's going to give you the grid that we posted I mean that we designed in Photoshop it's going to show up on your Instagram just like this so um, hopefully that was easy enough to follow uh, this is my first tutorial um, and if there's anything else you want to know how to do that I've already done or you have an idea and you want me to show you how you could accomplish that then just let me know and I will create another tutorial for you guys that's all